you can see uh well, it's quite interesting uh 0.6 kilowatt hours used uh from the sun Good morning. Um, just mentioned in my other video, which I've just finished filming that section about the update on the building work, that I'm going to fix this still saw. So, what was the problem? Well, this was the problem. So what was happening there is, it was running fine, full throttle, and then eventually it just stopped when it got up to temperature. Uh, first thing to do is, if that happens, is unscrew the cap on the, the saw. If you hear a hissing noise, then it's a block vent. We didn't get that. So I think normally that means a problem with the ignition system. When it gets heated up, crack opens up either in the spark plug or in the in the coil and yeah it sparks the ground and turns it off which is why it's very hard to start afterwards because uh, you have to wait for it to cool down so what we're going to do today is change some aspects of it so the main thing is the spark plug and the coil those are the two main things so we change those two, but also while we're at it, I think it was about ten pounds. They put new air filter in, new pre-air filter, um, and a spark arrester, and uh, fuel filter as well. So first things first, let's get this stripped down. Okay, so there's the coil up. see the connections to it just crush them off unscrew it so here we have a new one and this is the old one can see it's rusted. Well, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. And then you can just see there's a gap in there. If stuff gets in there or water cause a problem. You want a gap between this, which is a magnet, and this coil here. So, something like that. All right, so then just tighten these up. And now check that this rotates. So, there we go. So this cable goes around there up through the little slot and then this cut off cable is in there as well and that connects onto there
10th of September 2003. 20 years. Not bad. Start it. So it took a fair few pulls last time to start. So let's see. That's how you fix that problem on a steel saw. So it was left idling for 15 minutes, which is twice the time it took for the other one to cut out. So it's really hot as well. And picked it up, ran perfectly, no problems at all. So if yours cuts out when it gets hot or um, uh, just after a long period of working, check the fuel cap. If there's no hiss, change those two bits and that's it done hope this is helpful if it is um, you can always buy me a coffee it's only two euros or one euro whatever you want um, you pay that for an instruction manual for it if not don't worry okay see you on the next one